library catalog that's based off Blacklight and enables users and patrons to access uh, digital and physical content uh, from the library. So users can enter search terms, refine their results, do all the kind of classic Blacklight things. Uh, one, ex one thing that's been recently added in the past, uh, past uh, little while has been uh, integration with article searching. Um, so we call this Articles Plus. So I'm searching for Blacklight Stanford and I get these results, but I'm also told I'm, there's some results found in our article search and I can click that and get uh, article uh, search results as well. Um, we've also done some linked data experiments in SearchWorks. So this is an example of a search for uh, Tenderloin uh, in our catalog. Uh, we get results uh, that have the region set as the tenderloin, but we're also presented with this knowledge panel, gives us a map, the area and discussion, and uh, kind of a hierarchy of uh, where this place is located. A little description about it as well. Due to COVID-19, Stanford has closed all of our physical library locations and so we've been looking at ways to give patrons access to electronic versions of our material. One of the things we're doing is linking out to Hadi Trust material made available to us through the Emergency Temporary Access Program. We've added links and metadata into our SearchWorks index to allow us to link out directly to the Hadi Trust book viewer or work page. Through this program, we can offer about 2 million books that Stanford has physical copies of that patrons are unable to access physically. So this is Spotlight at Stanford, uh, also commonly referred to as Exhibits. So this is our local instance of Spotlight. It's been an exciting year for our curators. We reached our 100th exhibit in Spotlight. This year, we introduced the ability to search across exhibits. So in this uh, search bar, I'll search for Dr. King, and you'll see uh, it pulls up uh, items from different exhibits that feature Dr. King. Uh, I click on this group by exhibit uh, button and it'll uh, give us an overview of the exhibits those items are found in. Uh, so you can see there are a lot from activism at Stanford. So in addition to uh, searching for items in exhibits, uh, we've also exposed items in our exhibits platform in our Blacklight catalog. So you can see here, I have a digital object, another photo of Dr. King, uh, and down here by the metadata, you can see the spotlight exhibits this item is featured in. Uh, it's all in a big year for image viewers. Uh, this year, we migrated to using Mirror 3 as our default viewer for items from our repository. Earthworks is Stanford's geospatial data and maps search interface. Uh, it's built using GeoBlacklight, and it allows users to search for find, download, and use scan maps and content. We provide access not only to uh, scan maps and GIS data from Stanford, uh, we provide access to a large uh, section of community data as well. Uh, one thing that we added this year was the ability for uh, users to uh, find and use content uh, from Stanford that are non-geo-referenced maps. So here's an example of uh, this uh, Army Map Service map of Japan. And we've also added the ability to find, discover, and use index maps. So index maps are kind of built in this open index map format. And uh, users can uh, find the content and start to, see, uh, start to see where some other maps exist for this as well. Argo is the management front end to our institutional repository that's based on Fedora 3. The Argo instance has been recently upgraded to Blacklight 7, and we've done a fair amount of work to use Webpacker for all of the assets, JavaScript and CSS. 
currently it holds something like two and a half million objects, but we're working on an ingest project for Google Books, which will double the size of our repository. Finally, the Digital Library of the Middle East, due to launch later this year, is our first multilingual spotlight site that supports both left to right and right to left languages. We've also added, uh, which I'll show here in the Gregorian date range, um, some labels on the um, axis of the histogram uh, indicating where uh, uh, BCE or CE dates. Um, that is uh, in particular for Gregorian. Um, in addition, for the Hidri date range um, slider, we have uh, BH uh, for uh, before Hidri and then MH um, for Hidri. Mm -hmm.